In our previous video, we looked at maidenhair varieties, and from that we've had a number of questions. Firstly, on how to repot maidenhair ferns. Secondly, how to divide maidenhair ferns. And thirdly, do you prune maidenhair ferns? Well, yes you do. And in this video, Robin from Fern Acres Nursery is going to demonstrate how to do all of those things. Today we're going to repot and separate um, maidenhair. You can see by this plant that it has been suffering. Um, there's a bit of uh, rot on the leaves and I've pulled some of that off um, but I haven't done it complete, completely tidied it up because I wanted to show you what sort of happens. You will often find when um, plants are in need of a, a pot up they have uh, decay in the middle from fronds that are needing more light or more space or more nutrient um, and they're not getting it so they, they tend to rot in the middle. You'll also see in here the new curls that are coming up that want to grow and so if we don't separate that or pot, it, pot the plant up they will start to lose their colour and lose their form because there's not enough nutrient or not enough space. So normally you would go through and just trace your dead foliage down to the source at the bottom of the plant and just pull it out and discard it. Um, you can, if your maiden hair is in really bad condition, gather up the older foliage into a um, ponytail for want of a better word and just cut it off low you it is okay to do that but some of the longer new growth will be clipped off when you do that um, to get the plant out of the pot simply give the pot a bash and you will set come away there was a bit of potting mix stuck there and you can see it's not completely full, but it is the plant is um, coming to the edges of the the um, pot size, and so it needs more space. Um, if you're just simply potting it up, apart from wearing gloves when you're handling potting mix, you need a slightly bigger pot. The pot I had the plant in was a 150 mil. I'm going up to a 200 mil or a 6 inch to an 8 inch pot size. So just put a small amount of potting mix in the base. A little bit of fertiliser. So this is just dynamic lifter. So a small handful, sprinkle it around. Just give it a, a mix. And the plant straight on top. Hold your foliage out of the way as best you can because you don't want to cover it in potting mix. And you just work your way around to fill the pot, give it a bit of a shake and then just firm it up in, in the actual pot. Simple as that. Very easy, nothing complicated. You don't need to tease out roots or anything like that. Um, most fern roots are quite matted. Um, so if you tried to tease them out, you're actually going to damage the roots and therefore set the plant back. Um, this is ready to go now. I would just put a saucer under the, under the pot because maiden hairs love their moisture. And you can either hang it or stand it wherever you want it to be. Um, to divide a maiden hair, we'll just pull this back out because we might as well use this one. It's a little bit harder to see, but this maiden hair grows in small clusters of plants. So there will be about anywhere between 10 and 15 plants in this um, this cluster um, you can divide it into um, three or four pieces 
Most commonly, though, you would only divide it in half or thirds. Um, you want several clusters because the clusters themselves are reasonably small um, and it's the clusters that make up a bigger maiden hair. So to divide this one, you just literally, with your thumbs, start to pull at it until you feel them separating. You can use secateurs if you've got arthritis or your hands aren't particularly strong, but you can see that one breaking away quite easily and just carefully tease it out because with all that new growth, you can sometimes break off the new growth. Again, if I were doing this um, in real time, I would have cleaned it up properly, but I wanted you just to see the dead stuff that you need to clean out. Um, at this point, you could literally, with a pair of scissors or secateurs, it's up to you, if your plant has a lot of dead growth, you can just literally, because you can see where things are better when they're somewhat divided, you can cut off all that old growth down to within a few centimetres of the base of the plant and get rid of it and expose your new growth to the light. So still a couple more on there. Get rid of those. Um, people commonly don't like to do this. And I must admit, the first time I had to do it, I didn't particularly like doing it. Um, but it it does make all your growth nice and healthy and strong and makes it nice and even. If you are going to pot into the same size pot, don't pot straight back into your old pot. There could be fungus and diseases in there. That might be one of the reasons why your plant is suffering. So if you want to use the old pot, give it a rinse in some um, warm soapy water with a little bit of bleach, dry it out and then give it a rinse with some just some clean water so you know that it's nice and clean um, or just have some new pots ready and clean your old pots up afterwards. So again, we just put a small handful of potting mix in the bottom with a small handful of fertilizer so you can see in there it covers the bottom but not entirely and place your plant in that needs a little bit of extra mix because it's not quite high enough and then just again backfill your pot giving it a shake and tamping it down along the way because you want it to be nice and firm and then just keep filling it until you've got the desired height. We always recommend that you leave a little bit of a lip in the pot about a, a finger's width worth because in summer having that little bit of um, extra pot space means when you're watering you can fill the pot um, with water and the moisture will stay in the pot whereas if your potting mix is up to the top edge of the pot oftentimes you're watering and the water's just sliding off the edge of the pot it just means things that like maiden hairs that love water um, the water stays nice and um, strong in the pot always always have a dish to go underneath your pot with a maiden hair really important because in summer they like that access to the extra moisture um, so that's how you divide or repot a maiden hair there's nothing really troublesome about it except maybe the psychological thing of cutting back all that old growth um, but it will tidy up your plant and at this time of year, which is sort of towards the end of winter, like I said, you can see the new growth coming through ready for spring. And within a couple of weeks, that, that 
um, growth will come out and more will come because it's getting the exposure to light and you'll have a nice full maiden hair again. Uh, water it in. Uh, you can use a light liquid feed, something like Maxi Crop. If you use any other product um, like Sea Soul or Charlie Carp or any of the general purpose brands, use it at a slightly lighter dosage than what is recommended. Pop it in a warm, well lit but not sunny spot and you'll be happy with the result. That was easy, wasn't it? For more information on maidenhair ferns, visit the Fern Acres Nursery website. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for regular updates on ferns and many other garden plants. And as always, good luck with your gardening.